Good morning guys. I certainly did not expect to be able to say that today, but I woke up in the morning and I cannot believe it, especially because I didn't fall asleep till around 6 or 6.30 this morning. But I woke up at 8.15 to a call from my friend Abby. He has been in India for the past four months visiting home and he was saying that he's coming to pick up his car that he left at a friend's house in a suburb near where I live and it's got a dead battery and he was asking me if I could help him out and come and give it a jump start. Unfortunately, I couldn't help him out because my mum's car's not working right now, so I felt kind of bad about that. But we chatted for over an hour and it was good. It was good to catch up with him. And I think he might be coming over to my house if he can get his car to start, so that will be awesome. But either way, even if he doesn't come over to my house, I've decided that I'm not going to try to go back to sleep, even though I've only had like two hours of sleep. I'm just going to stick it out and stay up and hopefully get to bed by about 10 p.m. tonight and be able to wake up early again tomorrow. Like I said, I've only had two hours of sleep, so I'm probably going to be pretty tired today, but I feel great right now. That's the thing I always forget when I get into a bad sleeping pattern, is that I really, truly am a morning person. I am always so happy in the mornings. I always feel like I have so much energy. Even right now, I feel like I have a lot of energy and I only got two hours of sleep. It's great. I love the mornings. So I'm definitely very thankful that Abby called me uh, and we had a great chat, like I said. It's always good to catch up with an old friend. It'll be great if he comes over to my house, but even if he doesn't, today's going to be a, an amazingly productive day. I'm going to apply for a bunch of jobs and it's going to be awesome. Waking up in the morning is amazing. I've missed this. It's such a great feeling. My friend Abby did end up coming over to my house. It was so good to catch up with him face to face. He stayed for a little over an hour and we just chatted more about what we'd been talking about on the phone and other stuff. And yeah, it's good to have him back in Melbourne. We'll definitely be hanging out more now that he's back. He's just sorting out a place to live and stuff because obviously he's, he's gone overseas for like four months. He uh, stopped living where he was living before he left. So he's got to find a place to live. But yeah, it was great to see him. I miss that guy. I love him so much. And every time I don't see him, it sucks. But then when I do see him, it's like no time has passed. It's nothing like seeing your best friend after so much time. But yeah, I can't wait to be hanging out with him more in the future now that he's been here. It was so good to have him in my house. It was just a really nice day. I don't know, because especially because I didn't expect this to happen. I received a call at quarter past eight, spoke to him for like an hour on the phone, and he came over. So that was great. Good to see Abby. Love that guy so much. And yeah, now it's about 4 p.m. and I'm going to apply for some jobs and maybe watch tennis if there's some good matches on. But it feels great to be up. I've been up for so many hours now. It's crazy. I've been up for what? Eight hours. <laughs> that is insane. Very insane to me. It's great though because I only need to stay up for another six hours or so before I can go to bed. I've definitely crashed a couple of times and felt really tired, but I don't feel so tired anymore. Um, Abby also felt really tired because I think he only got back from India the other night and he hasn't been getting much sleep, so we were both a bit tired. Um, but yeah, so good to see him. I can't wait to catch up with him again. I'm gonna try to go to sleep now. It's a little later than I wanted to go to sleep. I wanted to go to sleep at about 10. It's about 20 to 12 right now, but that's fine because I was still easily be able to wake up at 8 or 9 a.m. I'm so happy that I stayed up. I almost took a nap. I think I would have dozed off for maybe one or two minutes and then my stepdad came in because my mum was asking a question over the phone because she was at work. So thankfully he woke me up and I didn't take a nap unless you count two minutes as a nap. But yeah and then I was thinking about it and I think I may not have even fallen asleep till like 7 or 7.30 so I might have even had less than an hour of sleep. And my energy levels definitely reflected that today because there were times where I was crashing, like when I had that two minute like power nap, if you want to call it that. And then there were times when I had a lot of energy. In fact, I have a fair bit now, but I'm going to try to go to bed anyway because my body and my mind are definitely very tired. So it's time to go to sleep. I didn't vlog anything after Abby went home and that's just because I didn't really do too much. I did apply for a job and I'm looking to apply for a few more. Tomorrow, it's Friday, there won't be too many available, but if there are, I'll definitely be applying. I'm doing so well with my routines and with moving forward, being motivated and applying for jobs. Things are moving in the right direction and as usual, it's a great feeling. Frankie invited me to karaoke tomorrow night, so it's Friday night karaoke. I'm not sure if I'm going to go um, because I'm not sure if he's going to pick me up or how I'd get there and stuff like that, but we'll see what happens anyway. If I go, it'll be a lot of fun. If I don't, I'll just have a relaxed Friday night at home and it'll be great. 
Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.